five, four, three, two, one, zero. We have ignition and liftoff of five more Iridium satellites from Vandenberg Air Force Base. Boeing Delta II Iridium. I knew when I, when I joined Iridium that eventually, if I didn't figure out a way to replace this incredible network, then we would be figuring out how to turn it off and stop service. Well, how could we actually do this? How would we replace the system and, and still keep a business operating at the same time? I think the word on the street was a great deal of doubt. It was a business challenge, but it was also an opportunity to say, so what can we do better? What can, how can we take this network out into the future and make it even more powerful, even more capable than it was? My belief is very strongly that Iridium Next, when it comes into existence, will spark innovation in ways that we can't even envision yet. There was a lot of unknowns. This was an enormous project, bigger than anybody in space had ever done. Um, replicating the largest constellation that was built and flown. I knew that we had an extremely aggressive schedule. Uh, we had no margin for error, and it was a pretty daunting prospect. We have the A-Team, and I'm just impressed and in awe every day of who I get to interact with. We found some of the best companies in the world to partner with, to work with us in order to provide a better product for the future. I think of the space project, which is building all these satellites and led by TALUS. I think of $400 million of ground upgrades, and I think of, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars of launch. And so everyone is marching to sort of the same drumbeat. That whole mission team is really performing well. The design's done. It's 99.5% done today. It's done. So it's qualification, it's into production, and you know we've done a lot of pre-testing and a lot of legwork, and I expect very good execution. I expect the first two satellites to be ready to launch in 15.